Hello and welcome to another Eagle class. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to create a, uh, a, a new device and package from existing ones. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is pull the data sheets down. Uh, this is what we're going to create, the FMB3906 uh, PMP multi-channel. It's a dual. Um, it's in the package type we want to do is the SuperSat 6. Uh, so first of all, grab the data sheet. Uh, Fairchild split their data sheets into technical data sheets and then package types. So this is the uh, device we're going to create in the middle here, the SuperSat 6. Um, we can see the pin number 1 and then the ordering is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 around. <clears throat> but we want to look at the device type, so if we flip back to this page, uh, you'll see that they have uh, in fact split them all up and we can find the uh, package type there, which will take us over to uh, this guy. And then we want device dimensions, which is this guy, and there we are. So here's the device, but since we're already going to use an existing package, uh, which we've already looked for in Eagle, and we know it's there, by looking in what's called the reference packages, and the reference packages have a huge long list of existing package types. So let's scroll down here and take a look. And it's going backwards, so there we go. Uh, here and that's the package we want. You can see it came from Fairchild, it probably even came from that same data sheet or one similar to it. And there we go, take a quick pick at it, it's the same one. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is load that library in. So I'm going to hit the left key here, and that will take me back up to the name of the package. And then I'm going to double click on reference packages. This will open the library editor. So now I've got it loaded into the library editor, I'll just stretch it out. And I want the package type. So let's scroll down, hit S key. I'll take us down to S, and then scroll down a bit. There's a lot of S's. T, and then scroll back up a little bit quicker. And we look for that variant. There it is. Load it in, and that's the one we want. So now we want to do uh, the command group. Type that in. Drag select over everything, and then type cut. Right click over a crosshair, cut group. Now we're going to switch to the package we want to go to. I've already opened the Fairchild one, so which should be right there. So I'm going to put it into the Fairchild library, so I'm going to click and open that. Okay, Back into the package. And this time we're making the package, so it's SSOT6. And we're in package, so it says package there. You can click that too. Hit OK. Yes, we want to create a new package type. And then we want to type paste. You can also use the mouse. And then center the package over in there. I usually center over the actual device and the name of the values, obviously not because they're just long and typically they're not a lot long in the schematic. So there we go. Um, so you can actually go in here as well and add in a description. So this is a super sort 6 and it supports HTML, so we can put in a, a quick little HTML thing. Uh, okay, and then pack back to the uh, data sheet. And let's pull on the package. Let's see. There's a good little bit of information on it. We're going to take the PDF name. And we're going to put the PDF name where it came from. There we go. So now we know where we got it from. OK. Um, OK, so let's save that. And now we're going to pop in and look for the symbol, an existing symbol. So you would just load Eagle and search through the different symbols, look for a package you know. In this case, I'm looking for a PNP. So if you go into the board editor in Eagle and type add, and then do uh, PNP as a search term, it'll search for package types. If you do it in the schematic editor, it will search for device types. So that's how you differentiate between the two. So here we are, there's lots of PNP types in here. So again, left arrow key is going to take me back up to there. Double click on the Z text. Uh, Z text. Go to symbol. P for PNP. And OK. There we go. Take a note of where the orientation of it is. Uh, so the crosshair is right there. Uh, use the group command. Drag select over it. Make sure you get everything. Cut command again. Right click over the crosshair. Cut group back to the library we're creating the part in, which is the Fairchild library. Okay, into the library, symbol, type PMP, 
symbol. Again, we're in symbol packets, it's easier. Create new symbol, yes. Okay, and then type paste. You can use the mouse again. Go back over the crosshair, pop it down to where it was. Now it's centered over there. Um, and then just hit save. And this time now to device. Because we're going to create the actual variant. And let's check the name of it. And we want that one. Let's copy it out, be lazy. Uh, there it is. We're already in device mode here. See, device, device. Click OK. Yes, we do want to create a new one. OK, so here's the different types. Um, so we can say click new. And that's going to bring up the package variants. There's the one we just created. And I'm going to call this one the SuperSot 6. Just to make it easy. Uh, there's our description. There's our thing. And in it pops. Now, as you can see here, it's got the green exclamation mark. And this means that... Um, it hasn't been connected yet, but let's go over here and make the symbol now. So let's drag this out a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to go here and type add. And there's our PMP we created before. Click OK. And we can just put that here. I'm going to do it like this. Put that one there. Now we, this is a jewel, so we're going to add two. And you can keep doing this in Eagle. You can keep adding different symbols. So those have overlapped a little bit, but these green ones don't actually show up. Those are uh, notes uh, inside the symbol. So that's, that's okay. I don't want it to be too big. And you can see what it's done is create a G$1 and a G$2, and that's given basically these two different devices different names. So again, if I wanted to add something else into the uh, schematic, I can draw lines, whatever, box around it and stuff like that. But let's leave it for that now. This is pretty typical. So now I'm going to go back over here and uh, type connect. Push the connect button. Okay, let's drag this into view. And now you can see here are the uh, base material emitter of, uh, emitter of uh, the first one and the base collector emitter of the second one. So let's take out the package type again. And we can see if we look on the right one, the middle one, pin one is B1. So let's go back. And uh, we'll do that. So we're going to have B1 to 1, connect. And then go back again, and it goes E2, B2. So let's go back. It's E2, B2, okay, so let's check, so that's, should go BBE, if I did that right, oh, no, oh, oh there we go, right, on a BEB, okay, because it's sorted by pad type now, so we'll double check that, uh, pin 1, B1, E2, B2, so B1, E2, B2, great, and let's go back. Sheet and the other side is C2, E1, C1. So C2. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> excuse me, E1. And then finally it should be C6. So let's double check that. <clears throat> so there we go. Pin 6, C1. And it says G1, C, pin 6. So there we go. So that should go in order. B, E, B, C, E, C. Double check. B E B C E C. Okay, great. And hit OK. <coughs> now it's got the tick on it. So that means that uh, it's connected correctly. So now we want to enter a description of this device. Okay, well, let's go back to the product folder on Fairchild site. Let's grab a little text. Um, we're going to call it, and again, put some HTML in there to help make it look all nice. Uh, okay, grab that, let's copy, and library, paste that in, and that's how it's going to look in Eagle. There we are, click OK, and that's it. We have now created a new type, and when we go into Eagle, let's save it out. We can go into Eagle and let's see, make a, we go for a project or something that we can kind of look at. Uh, when we go back into the Fairchild library, we should be able to see there's a SS6 and there's a new package type. And that's it. Thank you.